read you Romans chapter 1. Romans chapter 1. For this cause God gave them unto vile affections, for even their woman did change their natural use unto that which is against nature. And likewise also men, leaving the natural use of the woman, burned in the lust one towards another, men with men, working that which is unseemly, and receiving themselves the recompense of the error that was me. And even as they did not like to retain God in their knowledge, God gave them over to a reprobate mind to do those things which are not convenient, being filled with all unrighteousness, fornication, wickedness, covetousness, maliciousness, full of envy, murder, debate, deceit, and malignity, backbiters, haters of God, covenant breakers. A gay lady called Rosemary, a lecturer in gay theory, who lectures in America on gay theory, she's a professor. She read this chapter and she noticed this. It didn't pick on gay people singular. It mentions backbiters. It mentions covenant breakers. She was struck by it's not picking on any one group. And she became a Christian and realized that actually she was being prejudiced against the Bible. She was saying the Bible's homophobic, but the Bible was not picking on one group. It was saying all sin. So she left it, lecturing in gay theory, she became a born again Christian. That passage basically said it wasn't convenient to be gay. That passage is saying, sir, well, as well as that in modern times it's saying when the modern world thinks it's clever, God gave them over to it. So you can have your gay pride, but God's saying, that's God saying, you want it, you go and have it. You want it, you go and have it. But it's God's judgment on a modern society. That's what it's saying. But it, but, but it says this. It says this. For the gospel is the power of God unto salvation in that same chapter. The gospel is the power of God unto salvation for the Jew and the Gentile. In other words, for gay, straight, open relationship, whatever, it's for all of us to save us. So Christ died on that cross with a crown of thorns on his head for the gay community. The Son of God died for you on that cross and gave his life for you on that cross. He shed his blood for you on that cross. And gave. No, I will come in. He died on that cross for the gay community. He shed his blood for you on the gay community. He gave his life for you for the gay community. He gave his all. He took the wrath for the gay community. He took the punishment for the gay community. That's why he died on a cross. He shed his blood for the gay community. Have you ever lied? He died on a cross for your lives. I don't really care. There is a heaven and a hell. Say that again, say that again. People say that Jesus is the Lord, they are infallible. Jesus is infallible. Infa infallible. Yeah. Right. So by that law, right, Christ never ever wanted someone to pray for him on behalf of the whole Christian community. Well, any sort of faith. Well, no one, no, no, no. You need to be a bit more coherent when you say that. You're right. saying Jesus is unfathomable. Yeah. Yeah. And then you're saying that. Yeah, but by this Jesus, is your no, 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 no. By Jesus being that right? unfathomable. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. That you preaching for him, you pledging your life to pray for such a man. Therefore, you're contradicting yourself in so many ways. All right. Have you ever heard of Van Til? Can he was Van Til? No, he's a theologian and he talks about the uh, analogy of language and there's a debate in theology and philosophy called the analogy of language. <laughs> language only describes part of God, can't describe all of God, yeah? But you even have that problem in science or philosophy or reality. Language only describes part of reality, not all of reality. So you'd have the same problem, not just with Christianity, but with your own
view of reality. That's that, yeah, yeah. that, is, that yeah. is true, that but, is true. So, yeah. But the point is, for us, we believe that God is a covenant God, and so he helps us to understand reality through language. And language helps us by God being relational. God being relational helps us to have language that is relational to the world and to each other. But everybody has their, I, I understand, I, I perfectly, so, no, I perfectly so, so, understand so, that you have your own. So, so the simple, the, the simple <laughs> point, is, I'm talking about philosophy of language. The simple point is, is this, that we have a language, it's called the Bible. The Bible tells us to go out into all the world and preach the gospel. It tells us the wrath of God is coming upon everybody. It tells us that Jesus was punished on a cross for our sin. God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, that whoever believes in him shall not perish, but, but have a lasting life. God also had many other sons. Yeah. The language is there for you to know, if you want to, that Christ died for you. I understand that. And you I, have to I, repent I, I, and believe. I have been christened. I was christened. I went to a baptism. I went to a baptism. now. Thank you. I went to a Baptist church for about a good seven years of my life. Yeah. Okay. I understand that. I did all of the praying. I drank the blood of Christ. I drank, I ate the bread. I did all of that. Right. Yeah. I did everything for that community. You know. Yeah. Every Sunday, you know, it was praying, it was Bible, it was everything like that. And I perfectly understand that you have your own views. You have, you have perfect right and perfect morals mm. to say what you're saying, and I perfectly respect you your choices but preaching out in the name of God saying everything from that Bible can also seem very offensive in a way because it can morally upset somebody okay you know, you know don't get me wrong but if I was to come to you and say some extremely things from other say I don't know if I was to take from Scientologists you know and aim a bunch of stuff at you like from them and I'm just saying for instance if you became upset or disgusted with what I was saying, that would be my fault for upsetting you. And by you doing that exact same thing to people of who are like 13 to, I don't know, 20 to 30 years old, mm. you know, they are also becoming quite upset. Okay. And can I'm, I come back I'm, not, I'm not saying that you're a bad person for doing but okay. I just rather you... Can, can I come back? You've said you're arguing. Yeah, I, do, no, I just want to say, I'd rather you do it in a more, like not shouting at Going okay. at them, you know what okay. I mean? Because it is seeming like you are aiming a lot of okay. built-up aggression okay. from the Bible at okay. people. Okay, sure. okay. Yeah. You've, you've made your argument. Let me come back to you. Yeah, sure. Have you heard of modernism and postmodernism? Modernism from 1920s to 50s was there is right and wrong. Yeah. There is objective truth. So a Marxist and a Christian could be in the same street, and they, the Marxists could say you're wrong to the Christian. The Christians could say you're wrong to the Marxists. And still respect each other. That's modernism. It's mm. truth. Yeah. Then, after the 50s, we have postmodernism. That is, there is no truth. All truths are the same. What you're saying, your view, is about postmodernism. If I was preaching this in the 1920s, 30s, and 40s, and the Marxist was here, or the Buddhist was here, or the Muslim was here in the 1940s, everyone would understand that he thinks he's the truth, but I have the truth, but we respect each other. In postmodernism, says, no, we're all true. So you're coming from a postmodernist perspective. I'm preaching here truth. Just because I preach truth, what I believe is truth, it doesn't mean to say I don't really disrespect them. Exactly. Right? But every but everybody But you're everybody, coming from every, a, everybody has their own but, truth. But everybody has their own view, whether or not you're Buddhist, pagan. Yeah, but you're postmodernist. Like, yeah. I'm I'm just saying that, like, even with everybody's views and where everybody is coming from, right? Personally, right, if two men wanna pull down their pants and make have sex in the eyes of everybody else, that is something lovely because them two men right. love each other, so they want to okay. be with each other, okay? okay? okay. Right. If two straight people want to do it, if two animals want okay. to do it, I'll say, if somebody wants to be needy What if they want to rape somebody? No. No, I'm just going to No, 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 you've made your argument. No, you've made your argument. No, let me just go. No, 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 together and be a whole that's perfectly fine and that is a beautiful thing you going on you but you going on by just saying rape then right rape is not no, wait a minute, wait a minute. Wait a minute. No, wait a minute. No, 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 no. Wait a minute. Rape is not something you made your good. argument. If somebody no, no, no. wants to go out somewhere wait a minute. and rape you somebody, you have to be castrated. Excuse me, sir. You know? Excuse me, sir. You made your argument. You're saying if what two people want to love each other and have sex and the men are men, you've made your argument. But you said if it's their truth, if it's their truth to kick a baby 
According to you, it's okay. You said if it's their truth. No, no. That's if they want to make love, you've just no, no, no. You've just no, turned, no. No, you've just turned no, that no, around no. saying that right. if they wanted to kick a baby, it's the truth. It. Where did I? Where right. did I say is that? Is such thing as truth? truth to want to kick a is baby? Is such truth? I've just said you said that truth. It's a man, no. a man's truth. No. If they want to make yeah. love, no, you, not. You're not saying not putting violence to no, a child because that no, is disgraceful. Yeah, but are you saying that truth is per objective or subjective? Subjective. Is it subjective? Right. So you you've lost the argument. If they want to kick a baby, it's okay. You just said that truth's subjective. If it's objective, then you can make an argument. But you can't when you're saying it's subjective. If someone wants to kick a baby, it's okay. And it comes back to that point. There's objective truth. Yeah, but you're There's just coming out of nowhere, going, "Oh, I've kicked baby." Some of like, you just came out saying kick a baby. I, know, I didn't say anything about, about wanting to bestow right. violence to a child. Right. Is gay rights? Is gay rights subjective? A person's opinion, or is it objective truth? Everybody has equal it's rights, objective. equal okay. value in How this do world. you get objective truth in morality? Right, so it's subjective. You can't get... No, wait a minute, no, no. Wait a minute. You said, you said homosexuality is objective. I asked for the intellectual ground for it, and you said ethnos. That is the intellectual foundation that you give. So it's subjective, it's your opinion. Well, give law. an intellectual defence of why it's objective. Give it. It's, it's the law that you're right. allowed to leave people to go and right. do. There are other laws in other countries that say it's wrong. It's subjective. Yeah, but we're in England. Yeah. We are in But it's subjective. It's now. subjective. If there are other laws, other nations that say... If, if there don't, are, don't, don't tell me. He has the right to do that for the police, just yeah. in case. Can I ask you a few questions? Right. Some good questions there. Well, just stand there if you want to stand Some there. good questions there. We're going to ask you a few questions here, so uh, you can free well. this video online. Probably YouTube, yeah, so okay. YouTube. If you want to stand there, you want to stand there. We're going to ask you, uh, what happens to free will and the being being able to do whatever they want without judgment? And if it is God's entourage, what happens to him being omnibenevolent and all loving and loving everyone about it? He loves people no matter what. And also, yeah, it is in the Bible saying that you can't preach, and it is also against the law to preach in this premises, so. Okay, so you're asking about free will. Yeah. Well, people have a choice to do whatever they and want. They do, so why are you preaching against well, God, them doing Because what they God want to gave do. a law, the Ten Commandments. Don't right. lie, don't swear, right. don't commit adultery. Have you ever brought the Yeah, God's given a standard. Yeah, we've all broken the Yeah, we've all broken this commandment. 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 Secondly, so there's a law, right? The law of the land for preaching. The law of the land for preaching. If it's council land, you're free to preach. Right, well, brilliant. It's not allowed in this premises. This is where we walk. It's actually illegal. Oh, it's council land. Just, uh, I don't give a shit if it is. It's council land. No, we're free. If it's council land, we're free to do it. It's right. Brilliant. Law. It says it's not allowed to preach. Itself, not no. to preach. No, it doesn't. Religion. No, it's, 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 go it's, read the Bible. Actually, go home. Show me. You've only got three pages. Show me. Oh, show, show me. Show me. Show me where it says. Show me where it says not to preach. Well, sorry, I'm not a holy man myself, but I have read the Bible. No, you made a claim. If you make a claim, you've got to back it up with evidence. So have you. Right. Two Timothy. Two Timothy. Four two. 2 Timothy 4 2. And the Matthew says, Go and preach the gospel to all nations. Talk about preaching the gospel. Okay, well, go 2, on, Corinthians, read it out 2 Corinthians chapter 5. Can you read it out for them. Okay, can, can, I, on, on that note, right, can I ask, just ask you one thing? You saying like, all this and all the preaching and then them going, him going off on that sort of thing, right? Personally, right, you're preaching that about the gay pride you know, today. No, wait a minute, wait a minute. I haven't mentioned that all day. It's gay pride. I've not mentioned it all day. No, 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 listen, no, listen. You have said no, let me finish. Let me finish. Like let that. me finish. No, let me finish. How long have I been here? How long have I been here? Too long. Did I mention gay thing? No, no. I mentioned it because a guy asked me. Yeah. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm yeah. just saying right. A gay person asked me. I didn't bring it up. Oh, no, no, no. I understand that the gay person. I understand that. Person did ask you those questions, and obviously yeah. you had a perfect. And right I have a to responsibility to say what the Bible.